Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. This is another milestone for the city. Uh, a few months ago, or actually last year, we had a similar event for the fire department where we had the opportunity to flip their entire fleet in terms of fire engines and ladder trucks. And uh, now we're here to do the same for our police department. Uh, something that I, I say occasionally, something that I learned a long time ago is that it's vitally important that we show the public where their money goes. And this is one of those prime examples for us to be able to show the residents of the city how we're spending their money. We're spending it on them. Uh, I also want to thank our Public Works Department uh, and their fleet operation for all of the work that they put into getting these vehicles purchased, getting them upfitted and delivered. Uh, this is a very competitive environment for buying vehicles. Uh, I think we've gone to several other states to locate vehicles, uh, uh, but we got the job done through our uh, Public Works Department. Thank you, Chad. Raise your hand. He's the director. Okay, so we've been making a lot of investments in ourselves. Uh, this is one example uh, in terms of trying to modernize our police department's overall fleet of vehicles and equipment. Just to give you an idea as to what we've been able to accomplish from 2021 to 2024. Uh, we've been able to purchase a, in, multiple funding sources. This is a, an internal services fund. That's government speak, so I'm not gonna get into what, what that is. Uh, 189 vehicles comprised of sedans, SUVs, and trucks. 189, uh, 14 motorcycles uh, for a total cost of about $12 million for the vehicles themselves and about $6.5 million to upfit them. Upfitting means they're getting wrapped, uh, they're, I call them sound packages, the sirens, the light packages, and the computers that go inside of the, of the vehicles. Through special grants, uh, 10 vehicles, uh, miscellaneous, but these are very, like, like some of these right here, very heavy, heavy duty vehicles, tactical vehicles, mobile command post, uh, mobile crime lab, and we've been able to actually also make some, I don't know if this is the first time that we've done this, but, but we've also purchased some uh, vehicles and equipment for our equestrian unit. I don't know if that's the first time we've done that or not. Is that the first time we've done that? First time. Uh, and so those special grants amount to about $3.2 million. And now through uh, AB 109, uh, uh, we were able to purchase various off-road vehicles uh, as well as a police patrol boat, which I think that's might be a first as well. Okay, I, I, they're nodding their heads, yes. And then through AB 481, we've been able to acquire uh, various civilianized military vehicles. For example, w what's behind us, Chief McFadden can perhaps do a better job of describing what an MRAP is. I think we know what a Bearcat is, uh, Humvee and command control. So these vehicles uh, amount to about $2.3 million. So from 2021 to 2024, uh, we have invested about $26 million in uh, vehicles and equipment for the police department. $26 million. I think we should give ourselves a hand. So again, uh, I'll be back up, but I'm gonna ask our mayor, Kevin Lincoln, to come forward. Yes, on, on behalf of the Stockton City Council, I have here with me today, Councilmember Padilla, Councilmember Blower. Um, others couldn't make it, but the sentiments that I'm gonna share, I know they share those same sentiments. And when we talk about investment into our Stockton Police Department, and in this case, the equipment, when we do that, when we make that type of investment, we're making that type of investment directly into our community as well. Because there's no, nothing more important to each and every one of us as elected officials, as city staff members, and the brave men and women who put their life on the line every single day. There's nothing more important than the safety of our community. That's what they sign up for. Um, that's what their families sign up for. And the least that we could do is when we have the opportunities 
uh, to reinvest in the department to do just that. I believe this has been a monumentous year uh, when it comes to the city taking incremental steps in uh, ensuring and, and demonstrating our commitment to the Stockton Police Department. And I just want to thank each and every one of you who are present today and those that serve under your leadership uh, for your service to our community. Uh, we are blessed and we're a better city because of that. And somebody said, man, that's some big equipment over there. And I said, yeah, you go big or go home, right? Uh, this is what it's all about. Our Stockton Police Department, they deserve the best. And um, it's, it's been an honor and it is an honor to serve alongside my fellow council members uh, to make sure that we put our money where our mouth is when we have that opportunity to. So thank you all for being here. God bless you all. And I believe that City Manager Black's coming back up. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. So again, as obviously this is just a sampling of some of uh, the items that we've been able to purchase. More than 200 new vehicles being either already in service or being prepared to be in service. At this time, I'm going to ask one of our, obviously, our key partners in, in the whole uh, public safety arena to come up and offer a few words, our district attorney, uh, Ron Freitas. He's going to be followed by Police Chief Stanley McFadden. Thank you. It's very exciting to be here today uh, at this unveiling. Uh, also with me from the district attorney's office, uh, can we have a round of applause for my chief of investigations, Bill Hutto, please. Uh, the exciting part about being here today is our partnership that we have with the Stockton Police Department uh, making Stockton safer. And in the district attorney's office, we work very hard on three very important components, education, early intervention, and enforcement. And we see now that the people also are in favor of enforcement with the passage of Prop 36. So when we have education and when we have early intervention, and now we're uh, to enforcement, we're going to make sure that our officers in the Stockton Police Department have the best tools available to them and have a wide range of tools and a wide range of options uh, that are here. So this is very exciting to see this investment in our community because this is an investment in our public safety. So thank you very much for asking me to be here today and congratulations on this very historic unveiling. And now, the great chief of the Stockton Police Department, Stan McFadden. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right, hello and good afternoon. You know, it's a great day here at the Stockton Police Department, and I want to thank the mayor, city council, and our city manager, Harry Black. They made this possible for the department. I also want to thank the men and women that are going to be occupying these vehicles. As you know, with law enforcement, it is always changing. It's always changing. And for us to stay effective, we have to have the right tools, equipment, technology to be efficient and effective. So I can be happier for these tools and toys that are forced, are forced to be able to be out there in the community. This is what the community expects. We want to be there for the community and have every tool and asset that we have to provide a service. As we all see our huge rescue vehicle, if you see this in your community, that means help's on the way. That allows us to get to you under the most extreme circumstances, whether it be high flood waters, whether it be people firing upon your police department, this puts us towards the danger. And again, my partner from Public Works, Chad, thank you for making this happen. I know that Mark is very competitive and it's very hard to get um, equipment like this these days, but I know my force is very happy to take to in these vehicles. They look pretty nice. I don't know if I want them in pursuit mode, but I, I might get a little worried about it. But um, this is what the men and women in this department uh, deserve. Our, our, our FERT respond nightly on crime scenes and they need a space where they can preserve evidence and process equipment and store equipment while they're processing these, um, these large scenes. So all of our people are very happy. We will utilize this equipment. Again, thank you all for being here. That concludes the uh, ceremony. Thank you for coming. Is that correct, Connie? We're done? Okay. Thank you for coming. Feel free to take a look at some of these sample vehicles, and uh, thank you.